Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Marion, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by returning. If you're new or uh, returning, welcome and thank you. So Sag, we're going to take a look at uh, a little bit of love, life and advice for you for your bonus reading in March. My intention with this is if your monthly readings didn't resonate for you, maybe something here it will. May not all resonate, so please keep that in mind. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Jupiter male or female watching doesn't really matter so let's see what's going on for you uh sagittarius so everything you need to know is down below in the description box personal readings tons of stuff there please do go check that out and i may or may not be continuing these bonus readings sagittarius so give me some feedback leave me some comments if you enjoy these or if it doesn't really matter uh, or i may turn them into elemental readings uh earth air fire water bonus readings instead i'm not right uh, not really sure quite yet and also you can head over to uh, the community tab of my channel and there's two polls I would like everyone to participate in if you would like to what kind of readings you would like to see per month and if you would be interested in extended readings on Vimeo and also the giveaway is still open at this time through the end of March if you would like a chance to win a tarot deck along with a free 20 minute reading by me please Check the description box below along with a pin top comment for all the information you need. And if you do, thank you and good luck to you. All right, Sagittarius, for this bonus reading for March, let's take a little look at love and see what's going on for some Sagittarians at this time. So what's going on, Spirit, please, with some Sagittarius, the collective watching this channel. Well, I'll take that one and love. Well, we have a new beginning here. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So there is energy here for a passionate new beginning of some sort. And at the bottom here we have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you sh have shared with those you love. So there is a chance here for a new, fiery new beginning, passionate new beginning in love. But it, it's whether, I feel it's whether up to you, it's up to you whether or not you choose to accept this. Um, and just remember when you pass on, you'll never know the chance you could have had or you didn't have, what kind of memories you could have had uh, with this new person, this new beginning. It's ultimately up to you because when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So if you love this person and want a new beginning, then it's time here to make some new memories. If you don't, then ultimately when you pass on, then, you know, you won't be taking that with you, but however that resonates for you. So we're going to clarify. And once we get all these, um, dealt out here, um, we're going to pull tarot and clarify this energy. All right, so let's take a little look at love here. So if I'm tongue tied, please be patient. I've worked a very long week with my daytime job. Uh, <laughs> let's see, I think I've done nine hours of overtime so far. So, and it's a very tiring job. So, all right, Sagittarius, life. What's going on in life for Sagittarius? at this time okay so we got the high priestess energy here owl this is a time to pause and reflect not to take action trust your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition so this is about listening to your gut your intuition your higher knowing all right it's also about being a secretive so maybe you're not really communicating something right now so let's see what's on the bottom eight of autumn parrot it's the perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school. So some of you may be returning to school, taking a seminar or conducting research, do your best work and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. So that's a message for some, and maybe you're not, I don't know for some reason, not communicating that to anybody because a high priestess knows all the secrets, very intuitive, but she doesn't say much. She keeps those secrets to herself. So, and this is also listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. If you feel like you're on the right path here, then go with it. <clears throat> All 
right. Let's get advice for you for Sagittarius for this bonus reading for March. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the... That's too much. What is the advice for Sagittarius, please, for this bonus reading for March? I'm going to take that one. Simplifying your life. I charge the simple pleasures of life. If she see she's cleaning, male or female. So maybe time to clear out things that are no longer serving you. People, places, and things here. And cleaning up your energy in all ways. And here, listening with your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. So maybe needing to listen to, listen to your heart. Also your intuition in your heart. Um, here, so let's see. All right, so let's clarify this energy for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let's clarify for Sagittarius, please. This energy, what is this new beginning and memories? I'm going to call that other card memory since it doesn't have a title. There's a chance here to make memories with a new beginning. So what is that about in love? Since this section is about love for this bonus reading. So what is this for the Sagittarius? What is this new beginning in love? Memories, please, spirit. So we have the Six of Swords. So, <laughs> so this is about going into a more comfortable, peaceful place. Some of you could be moving, traveling um, physically. Definitely going into a better place, peace, harmony, balance, clarity kind of energy. So there's a chance here to move forward to a better place in a new beginning in love and make new memories with a new person here. All right, so what else here for Sagittarius? So we do have the Queen of Cups. So somebody definitely does have feelings and emotions here, male or female. And there is a love offer in hand there. So somebody may be thinking about heading in that direction, offering their cup of love for this new beginning and make memories for a new person. King of Swords. So now we have a couple here, King, and, King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So somebody having mental clarity here, I feel. Having mental clarity, wanting maybe to have honest communication also about moving forward in love, perhaps. So let's see here. So we have the Five of Swords. Hmm. All right, so let's get a few more in the Knight of Cups. So the Five of Swords is kind of that energy to me of, oh, can be sometimes a bad energy of, I'm gonna get ahead and I don't care how I do it, who I hurt. What happens, I just don't care, or an energy of, I gotta do something, I have to have it, I have to go after something, I just gotta do it. And not in a, sometimes it's a good energy, sometimes it's a bad energy. So I feel like somebody here is holding up that sword, especially the King of Swords, like, I have now mental clarity, and now I definitely know what I need to do, and I'm gonna do it no matter what. And it's like moving forward in love, because now we have the Knight of Cups, it's like forward movement in love. So we have forward movement, forward movement. So let's get one more for you, Sagittarius. Could be you or someone you're thinking of. All right. Emperor. Wow, this has been coming out a lot. So somebody here taking charge, taking lead, having that mental clarity, maybe wanting a very honest, open communication here. And it's like, I want to move forward in love here, and I don't care how I do it, when I do it, I got to do it here. Because we have moving forward, moving forward, taking control of this new beginning in love and now wanting to make memories with a new person. So it's either you or someone you're dealing with is in this energy. So I do see there can be a new beginning in love, someone taking control, coming forward, having that clarity. They want it no matter what now, and they just want to move forward in this. All right, so what is this high priestess? And Eight of Pentacles about. King of Coins. Nice. So, <clears throat> and this does say career advancement. So some of you will be King of Coins here. Smart, practical, abundant, 
somebody that could work in finances or the financial field or something along those lines. Um, but being king in your domain, making your coins, being abundant and successful, stable and grounded, practical, wise. So something needs to be laid down here, some sort of heavy burdens. Some sort of heavy burdens, Ten of Wands energy needs to be laid down and ended. All right, why is that here? Stress, worry, fear, anxiety. So it could be stress, fear, worry, anxiety, nervous energy about this. Am I going in the right direction? Should I follow my gut, my intuition about working on something here? See someone studying here. So some of you definitely could be um, studying and wondering, you know, am I going in the right direction? But just listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. You know, this is, you know, ending, needing to end the stress and worry, some energy. It's just weighing you down. It's not really going to help anything. That may be hard to do. Three of Wands. So you're waiting. You're patiently waiting here for that ship to come in. Have things to go, uh, you know, the way you want them to go. Patiently waiting for that. But we do have the Four of Wands energy. So it's a very stable, um, a lot of fire here. So that's your energy. Very stable home life. This is also about, could be marriage, commitment, um, celebrating, ceremonies. Just a very stable home life doesn't necessarily have to be marriage or commitment just a very stable home life so this stable home life is coming that you're waiting for because we have the three and the four you're waiting for the stable home life to be the king of pentacles and there and that's <laughs> this is like my divine energy card the divine coming in with the sword of truth and clarity so this is your victorious new beginning so just have mental clarity here from the source, from divine with this Ace of Swords. This is my divine energy card. That you're on the right path, though. You don't see it, and you're stressed out about it. And you're feeling very burdensome, and you're waiting. But your stable home life is coming, and you will be king, queen of your domain, pentacle, you know, raising up in your career here, making your money. You know, just keep doing what you're doing working at it here all right so what is this simplifying your life and listening with your heart sagittarius it's too many for sagittarius please the tower so this could be uh, a surprise aha moment it could be a shake up, break down, something crumbling down here, or you know something shaking up. So let's see what is that about. So you have the Seven of Cups. This is a little uh, confusion, options, decisions here. All right. So let's see about simplifying your life. Page of Wands. So exciting news coming in. Very fiery, passionate communication of some sort. Um. Or an offer coming in or going out. It's a sort of fiery, passionate offer. Good news coming in or out. Could be a youthful energy. I feel like you could be looking at many options or needing to make a decision about many things. Could be about work, career, finance, or things in your life. Because we have simplifying your life and we have like, like too many things going on here. So I feel like you know, you just have too much going on here and it, it's just weighing you down with the tower here and finally things just crumble down. <clears throat> and now here in this energy of communicating. Um, also, so let's see why. Let's get more energy here. Queen of Wands, King of Queen of Wands, so that's your energy. So this is you communicating. I'm simplifying my life, <laughs> so could be communicating to those around you or whatever about, you know what, I can't do this anymore, the tower moment, like having, it could actually be for some of you kind of like a little meltdown, because it's just too much with the Seven of Cups energy, and now like regaining your power, like going down to the page, then coming back up to the King or Queen, and now being in your power, I feel like eliminating Eliminating, cleaning up and simplifying, el eliminating here too many things going on. 
Yeah, so now Palace of Swords. So now you're living in a space, you know, you cleaned up your energy, you listened to your heart and your intuition, and now you're just living in total mind space energy of truth. The sword energy is always truth and clarity, um, honest, open, honest communication, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is kind of energy. So now you're just living in that energy now. And the fool here. So no more will you be, you know, acting like a fool, treated like a fool. No more. Resetting, restarting at zero. Having a fresh start. Taking a leap of faith here in something. Already getting ready to take a leap of faith towards something. Because you're listening to your heart and you're cleaning up that stuff in your life that is no longer serving you. Clearing away those options. All those, that seven of cup energy. All those, uh obligations or whatever here um clutter whatever clearing it all away and now getting ready for a fresh start here Sagittarius wow okay it's like a whole new start in life kind of I feel and on the bottom here so we do have conflict competition but now we have the palace of wands so we got the palace of swords and the palace of wands so living in an energy of pure you know, zest and passion, excitement, um, having a zest for life again, doing what you want, when you want, doing what you're fiery and passionate about, and being in that exciting energy. The five of wands so could, could have been all that inner conflict or competition around you, but I feel like you're eliminating that energy, Sagittarius. Wow, Sagittarius. Okay, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.